It's a beautiful horse. It's gonna be a bottle of the page you don't win this race. Bubbly, you want a sure thing? Buy bonds. This chooch, he sells me a horse. The next week, it starts losing. Stop. Slow down. Finish fourth. As an out of the money. Maybe you should try holding a bat. Well, so what if you don't win? I said, finish, Tony. All due respect. I'm inclined to defer to the experts. Me too. All right. Wire to wire. And tell that midget not to be shy with the whip. If only his mother had taken that advice. No, God damn, no! I got my cheese on her! He's gonna make it. Here we go, come on! Come on, baby! I got come on, girl! Zucker's mother, Miss Ray Ray, vision be mine, and Pile My joins the front runners. He's coming around! Jesus, look at her go! Make Pile My second color and he's at the home. Pile My pulling ahead. Pile My with speed to burn, and then Pile My! Who is that? It's his girlfriend. I'll give you a shot in the fucking head, my girlfriend. It's his mate. Oh, right, the racing license. You, Anthony. You, you, you. What did you say? Hold her back. You are not going unthanked. You? I'm giving a taste of my win. You know, not for nothing. The horse won. But that was not the agreed upon strategy. And Nikki didn't sit on her. She was bumped out of the gate and got stuck in a speed trap. So it is coming behind. This was a uh, fluke? This man here, he knew. We all get lucky. Nah, right is right, Anthony. Fluke, Escala, whatever the fuck. I'm giving you your taste. Oh, your money's no good. I insist. She ran your race. You called it. End of story. So, Dr. Doolittle, any thoughts? Only six furlongs. She should run it head to head. Excuse me, senor. If I listened to you last time... No, she right. Short race like this, let her blow him away. Hmm. Well, foolish that I am, I'm gonna play some bets. Come on, yeah, right. go, 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 He go, can't get go, you, go, baby. Go. But, but she just can't be Yeah, Kyle baby, yes. Yeah. And by oh my, it's the wire oh, first oh, loose. Oh, Winning is one thing. But when it's your horse, right? Yeah. Your horse wisdom is not going unappreciated. Heading to the winner's circle is Pyle. <sighs> He's laying out that kind of cash to us every week. So let him write a check to one of our shell companies. We'll take the tax hit. You got it. How's our girl? Our girl? Yeah, she had a hot tendon. You know, it's always something with her. You should see the veterinarian bills. Fucking racket. You know what I think we should do? You know what am I saying? I think we should switch her shoes to those titanium ones that Heshi was telling me about. They don't uh, weigh anything. So they're good for a tender hoof. Sure. Why not? Ah. You the vet? I gave her a shot. She's quieted down. Hey, here's your fucking money. You better hope she's gonna be all right. Titanium, huh? 
Strike's freezing out too hard for aluminum. Well, whatever she's got on her feet, she's a winner, huh? <laughs> a little colicky, huh? Yeah. You don't feel good, huh, bad girl? You bad girl. Fuck this horse whispering shit. Uh, what's this costing us? Oh, Tony, Valentina. Valentina, Tony Soprano. She works at an art gallery, helping me to enlarge my collection. And this, my Chiquita Banana, is Pai Oh My. She's beautiful. There's no stopping this for us. She's gonna go all the way to the breeders. We'll do the two geldings next, Whitey. Hon, can you come here a sec? I think I have something in my eye. Let Dr. Ralphie have a look. I don't see anything. Maybe you need more light. The fuck? <laughs> I can't believe you did this to me. It was a joke, hon. There's nothing funny about it. There is from where I'm standing. Besides, it's good luck. What? It's good luck to step in horse shit. Ask any horse person. It's true. Then why aren't you people walking around all day looking for piles of horse shit to stomp around in? It only works if it's an accident. Fucking sick, all of you. I really like you. I like you too, honey. But it's not gonna happen. Why? Why not? For one thing, I already took his horse. said the horse was still alive. It was burned so bad that they had to put her out of her misery. I don't even want to think about it. At this point, the fire marshal says that it looks accidental. What sick fuck would do something like that on purpose, huh? Right. What sick fuck? What? What's funny about God and fate? Shit like that. The horse gets better when we take out 200 grand insurance on the race coming up. Suddenly there's a fire. What are you saying? You think I had something to do with it? I didn't. Anthony, what are you, a fucking arson investigator now? Come on. They said it was an accident, right? How's Corky Iannucci? Uh, you heard from him lately? You know, still used him in that restaurant fire. Excellent work. You know, I don't understand you, Anthony. We got lucky. That accidental fire was a, a, a bolt from beyond. The horse was no fucking good with the fucking colic all the time and the fucking bills. What are you talking about? She bounced back. This time. But each time it takes something out of him. It was all downhill from here. Now, I know it's, it's tragic to think this way, but you can't argue with the fucking logic. Jesus Christ, you did it. You cooked that fucking horse alive. No, I did not. But so what? So what? It was a fucking animal. A hundred grand apiece. My kid's in the fucking hospital. I don't hear you complaining when I bring you a nice fat envelope. You don't give a shit where that comes from. Don't give me that look. It was a fucking horse. What are you, a vegetarian? You eat beef and sausage by the fucking carload. <laughs> Well, that's a creature. What's the ever done to you? You fucking killed her. You killed her. You fucking killed her. Oh, I wrapped the paper. And there she is.
she is. With her head held high and her ears perked up. Now I am smiling. This is in the mail for you outside, Tony. Uh, UPS. What's going on? It's calling Ralph. Leave a message and make sure you leave your phone number. With my schedule, I cannot look up phone numbers. Answer machine again. Your update. How you doing? Feeling all right? Me? Yeah. Great. Oh, for fuck. What's that, Tony? That's Tony and Ralph's horse pile, Mike. Where you going? Tom. Good shot. What are you doing? That's a forfeit. That's our money. Get rid of that fucking picture. What? You don't want to... You hear me? Burn it! I never want to see the fucking thing again! I wouldn't piss on this, Ralph, if he was on fire. But to whack the guy over a horse? How fucked up is that? It can happen to him, it can happen to any of us. And what's next? You get clipped for wearing the wrong shoes? What can you do? Tony's the boss. Centuries of tradition here. Exactly my point. If Tony did do this, whack Ralph over a fucking horse, that guy be the first guy online to pull his fucking plug. Who is it? Open this door. I want to talk to you. Hey, you got some beefs. You want to phone everybody? What the fuck? I know you said you wanted a burnt tea, but the picture moved me. It's because you knew it cost me a fucking arm and a leg. It's museum quality work, I admit that. But I told the guys the chance to hang a picture of you on my wall. I rescued it from the flames. What's with the hat and shit? Huh? Don't give me, huh? You know what it does to me? To be reminded of that fucking horse? I'm sorry, T. But you never come here no more. I didn't figure it'd be a problem. I never come here no more because they're watching all our houses. It's no good for us to visit. I know. What are you and your horse? You get a big laugh out of that? That's no joke, T. Now what the fuck is it? That's no joke. That cost me a lot of money to get the retouching done. What the fuck you do it for? Don't bullshit me, Paulie. Part of it, all right, was to fix some fire damage on the guy's feet. But while I was at it, I also thought, I don't have a modern look in here. So go with something more traditional. Something that catches more of what you're really all about. A goddamn lawn jockey? That's not a lawn jockey. That's a general. What general? Who? Oh. It's not a real general from history. It's you. The fuck? I want to come home. There are some non-negotiable conditions. Like what? You can't have your horse in here. Why not? Are you kidding me? The smell, shit all over the place? We'll clean up after, huh? You always say that. <coughs> I have to think about it. 
You're the one brought it up. I should go. You didn't take care of that? But check this out. Be careful. 